And it's worth reminding again before we show the highlight, they didn't just beat any see, any team. They beat the top seed, the Big Ten right. regular season champs, the team that has the Big Ten Player of the Year, Defensive Player of the Year, Goalie of the Year, Coach of the Year. They are really, really good. They're also number one all time in NCAA Division I wins. And they got that man, Adam Wilcox, who's usually just tremendous. That's why he's the Big Ten Goalie of the Year. Yet Nick Schilke finds a way to get past him, and the Buckeyes are up one to nothing early on. But watch this, with about four seconds left, we almost have another goal. If you would have had five seconds, it would have been a goal. But just after the whip, after the horn. Look at this, oh, Ooh. right before zeros happen, so it does not count as a goal. Second period, still one nothing. Gophers are trailing, not for long, because Taylor Camerata with a great pass to Kyle Rao. I think Kyle Rao would tell you that is probably his easiest goal of the year, but great play by Camerata, finding him on the back door, finishing it, Kyle Rao. Power play goal, we are tied at one. The third period, are we going to OT just like we did in both games on Thursday? Well, Christian Fry's doing his best to say no, but this is Ryan Dezingle saying we're up two to one. Just like we talked, well, it's like Ben said in the, during the play, shoot the puck, Ryan Dezingle. He finally did it, 2-1 Buckeyes. And here, as I was mentioning, is Christian Fry, the freshman. Absolutely a tremendous performance from him. Seth Ambrose tries to push the puck <laughs> in. They don't allow that. If you could use your glove to score, they probably would have called it a goal. The Buckeyes win the game 3-1.